What is up everyone, it's me Sivo and in today's video we are going to be doing buttons I'm going to show you every type of button that you can do in discord.py I'm using discord.py 2.0 um, If this button thing don't work in using 2.0 Make sure you install Netscode as well um, This will just, I don't know, for some reason it just makes it work So yeah, if you do get an error and you can't solve it Just make sure you um, install Netscode as well Why you have discord.py You'll still be able to use the import discord in that It'll just be running in like I, I I don't really know it's funny. It's just it kind of just adds to it, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, if it don't work, just install that as well. And yeah, nothing will change. You'll still be using Discord like I am. So yeah. But let's get into it. So we're gonna be using subclasses. So basically, um subclass will make it a lot easier. And once you've got the main thing down, it'll be easier to like add more buttons to your program and that. And then we're gonna obviously make a command to await it. I'm gonna show you how to edit a button. I'm going to show how to like so edit a message edit an embed and send a message and quit and also do a link and with that you should be able to do what you want with it and have fun and whatever so yeah anyways let's get into it first we're going to start with the subclass but how we do this is pretty easy we're going to make one button first and show you that first so we're going to do class menu and then we're going to do discord dot ui dot view just like this and then we're going to do def underscore in it. And you're going to get a bunch of shit. Uh, just delete all that. And then we're going to do um, super. You should understand all this if you're fr uh, pretty good at object oriented programming. It should, um, well, it should be like the simple stuff. Well, it ain't really that. Big. Just need an understanding. Then you're going to do self dot value equals to none. All right. Now, once we have done this, we're going to make the first one. So the first one we're going to make is something that just... Um, it just sends the user like just a normal reply when you click the button. So first we're to make buttons so Discord dot UI dot button. And um let's and then this is the label. So we're gonna do label is equal to uh keep it simple, I recommend. Uh just say this is gonna be the name of the button. So um let's just do um send message. Send message. And then we're going to do a style. We're going to make this one gray. So style equals discord uh, dot button style. And then we're just going to do dot gray, just like that. And um, and that should be it for that. Now we're going to um, await it or get the like send it. So it's async def. Yeah, make sure we're going to be making like a menu. So just do menu one. And then we're going to do self. We're going to do button, and then we're, uh, with button, you're going to put in uh, discord.ui.button. Oh, shit. Dot .button. I can't spell. Dot .button. And then we're also going to put in interaction. And this is just discord.interaction. Uh, there it is. Interaction. That's literally it. Now we're just gonna we're gonna make it in. Uh, no, we're not gonna do an embed. So how you send a message when someone clicks the button? If you do a wait, interaction. Dot response. Dot and then it should find send message right here. And then you're gonna do um. If you want to edit it, if you do an edit message, you do content. But we're not gonna edit, so we're just gonna say hello. And I will show you how to do that in a bit. So we're gonna do hello. You clicked me clicked me and now how we actually like you know get this we're gonna do um we're gonna do a menu command so um at bot dot command async def we're gonna do menu we're just gonna pass ctx inside and then all we're gonna do now is do view equals menu which is which is the name of the class and then we're just gonna do away ctx uh wait ctx dots uh we'll do dot reply and then we're just going to do view is equal to view and that's literally it so now if we play the bot if we go into our discord and we type up menu it's going to pop up with the button it's going to say send message we click it and it's going to say hello you have clicked me so yeah and that's literally how easy it is and now we're going to show i'm going to show you all the other types of buttons we can do with each color okay the next button we're going to do is a edited button so it's going to edit the text we do this by we can actually just copy and paste the whole second line here and we just um paste that in and we're going to change this to edit message and we're going to change this to menu two and then we're going to make this instead of uh gray we're going to make it purple and um, actually no let's make it green first 
and then we'll do green and then um, we're going to do await interaction dot response dot edit message this time and you're going to have to do content equals and then you're going to put this is a edited i can't spell edited message and we're also going to do the other one we're going to do them all why not we're going to do um we can just copy that again change this to menu three and this time we're going to do an embed so the thing is with buttons um when you do an embed you when you edit the message it only edits the text above it so it only edits um let's put sync in here so let's do hello this is the menu so basically it only edits this and it still leaves the embed in so um yeah but we're doing embed real quick so let's just quickly change this to blurple and then um we're gonna do uh edited i was about editing right now it's edited embed uh embed and then we're just going to do await interaction dot response dot edit message and then we're going to do embed equals embed now we need to actually set up an embed so you know how to do that so embed equals discord dot embed and then we're just going to do color um equals discord dot color and we're just going to do dot random and then um we're just going to do we're going to get embed dot set author and then we're going to put in a name we're going to do this is a edited embed and then embed embed dot add field and then we're just going to put in a name we're just going to put in our name so sivo and we're going to put in a value so value subscribe and that's literally all that is for that oh i need to put quotations around that and that is how you add an embed to the message like edited so it doesn't go down below um next up we have got a goodbye so if someone wants to stop it and end it um like end the you know the button function so you can't click buttons anymore it is pretty simple to do we do this by doing we'll copy paste that again menu four we will literally just call this quit and then uh, we're just going to do uh let's just yeah let's just do that away interaction let's do it yeah let's do another embed actually so we can show you how it like edits so we'll just do uh name is going to just be goodbye you stink a poo goodbye kid and then name will just be uh i'm uh i'll wait okay and then we're just gonna say um bye 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 uh make sure we subscribe there we go and then we can just um away interaction dot response dot edit message and then we could just do it embed equals embed simple as that and that should be it and now we need to stop it obviously so we do self dot value why is this oh it's probably because i spelled a weight like that um value and we're going to equal that to false and then we're going to do self dot stop and uh, that should be that should be it for that and that's all the all the four like four of them so we got the normal send message we've got an edit send message edit it embed and then a quit and now we're going to have a link um so the links you're going to have to do it in the command as it's just a little bit easier and you're only going to be doing one anyway unless you want multiple um with this you're going to have to do under the view we're going to do view dot add item and then we're going to add discord.ui.button make sure it's the capital B we're going to do a label and the label is going to equal just URL button uh, and I'll also show you to do emojis so style is going to be equal to discord.button style dot link and then we're going to paste in the URL so URL is equal to let's just do let's get my youtube channel. okay so the url is going to do our youtube channel here uh let's go over here a bit all right now we're just going to um we've got we're actually going to put in our emoji so uh, how we do this we just do uh, comma and then emoji and then you're just going to put in the emoji code so mine is going to be uh we're going to put in freddy and then just like that and then um and that should be it for the the link i think yep 
Okay, now we have done all this, we can actually uh, play the bot. So this is all the code, if you just want to check. Uh, there you go. All right, now if we just play, um, we should, everything should work swimmingly. All right, now if we do menu, it's going to say, oh, let's actually change that real quick. So um, quit, we're going to change this to red, or you can change it to danger, but just do red, it's just easier. Um, I'm going to do red. Now if we do menu again it's going to have send message we send a message edit message it edits this message up here so yeah and then we can do edit embed it's going to send it send it embed and um in here instead of down here and if you want to quit it will quit and it says goodbye kid make sure to subscribe and then you shouldn't be able to use these anymore but you will still be able to use the url and the url will take you to the youtube channel and as you can see, it's got the little emoji on it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this tells you everything about uh, buttons. You can now, well, you know how to use them now, so you can implement your own stuff. You can maybe make games with them or whatnot. And yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, drop a like and subscribe. I will be doing select menus next. So if you don't know what a select menu is, you type, it's just like you click it and it has a little menu you can click. And then after that, I'm going to tell you how you implement buttons and select menus together. And then you can have a cool little menu display or games or whatever. So, yeah. So, anyways, drop a like, subscribe, and bye.